block that rim. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. Outside Hill. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And at that range, hey, hard for the defense to really affect that shot. I mean, Lopez is just too good. Here's Middleton, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul goes against Brooklyn. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And one look at the box score will confirm that. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. Here's Lavert, defended by Middleton. Lopez a screen, six to shoot. Hill has the open look. Offensive rebound, Nets. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Nets shooting their first free throws of the night. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. Uh, but just a tad worse, so not too bad. A three from Leonard. Offensive rebound. Cauley Stein dishes to Leonard. Another miss by Leonard. Brooklyn with the ball. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And Kevin, you know, they showed how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the road, that depth is vital. I think they really utilized the second unit to extend their offensive assault and just really wore down their opponent. And guys, I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. And that has to make you feel good as a group. The pass to Levert. Fires from the line. Second shot opportunity. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for the Nets. And they love to spread the floor with shooting. A lot of three-point attempts. And that's been the league-wide direction. And this group has been no exception. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so Favors nails both of them. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Lopez with the block. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Hill against Walker. Shoots from 12. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grab it for air. And Middleton kicks to Harkless. Back to Middleton. Pass to Harkless. Down to five on the shot clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Good on the bucket. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Hill against Walker. Here's Hill. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Favors passes to Hill. Again, missing Hill. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Harkless. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And the double clutch layup in that situation, that's just him playing to the crowd, guys. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. Mario Hazonia comes in for Chris Middleton. Now here's Curry. Not a lot of room. They set the screen. Johnson outside. Pass to Lopez. Good, and it's Johnson with the assist that time. And it's six points for Brooke Lopez. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. And he comes up with the deuce. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Here's Johnson, and it's blocked. 
And here is Harkless. He has five. Here's McGee. It's Herzonia in the corner. Hit the tip. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. And it's JaVel McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. McCullough's checked in for Brooke Lopez. And the Lakers also making a change. Jackson's checked in. Now T. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Johnson at the elbow. And the shot is good. Nice pass that time. What excellent vision by Jeff Teague out there. Lakers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Jackson kicks to Hazania. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Here now the league's highest scoring teams the past ten games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. In third, the Lakers. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Perkless, and he misses the go-ahead basket. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Here's Azania. Kept alive. Second chance shot. There's the call on James Johnson. Here's Jackson taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. Three-pointer. Hazania's shot is off. The Nets with the lead. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Releases from 15. Johnson's shot is off. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Here's Harkless. Here's Avanti. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's his first trip to the line. And from the line thus far, how about 83%? on the season outstanding and you know with those numbers he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him I mean he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line they set the pick shot off the screen Curry shot is off hey they got the shot they wanted off of that pick but it just doesn't fall yeah it didn't go down but you'll take that shot every single time Greg that's good offense Seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off of them during the run. Johnson outside. Here's McCullough. And that's not going to go. And forward James Johnson back. I play the game how it's supposed to be played. I play. That's exactly the kind of hard-nosed, old-school attitude that coaches just love. And Kevin, and, and so do his teammates. I mean, a guy like that brings out the best in everybody on that team. They just kind of feed off of his effort and desire. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here. What have they been doing or not doing in the game? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor. Taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. They've got favors. Curry is out there with Levert, and it's Fields in at the four spot. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. They get it again. Shots good by Middleton. And the Lakers lead by two. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. The feet to favors. Here's Lavert. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Celtics in Boston. He tries for three. 
kept alive. There's Hollis Jefferson. Goes up again. That one goes. Count it. No plays off with this guy. Hollis Jefferson, just a phenomenal rebounder for his position. George Hill's checked in for Brooklyn. Kemba Walker is checked in for the Lakers. Lakers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Chance now to take a look at the steal numbers over the last uh, couple months. The scope of that for him. I feel like he hasn't been paying as much attention to the defensive aspect of the game as he needs to. His steals have dropped over the past few months, and he needs to get back some of that fire on D. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Middleton can't get it to go. Nets have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. To the right side. Here's Lavert looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Favors. No good off the back of the rim. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. You can't get in a much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target. It just didn't fall. Out to the right wing. Hollis Jefferson. And he lays it straight in. Hollis Jefferson's got seven points. And with the physical gifts that Hollis Jefferson has, he plays a lot bigger than his listed height. Walker with it. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. That three off the mark. The Lakers trail. Middleton right side. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Six points for Chris Middleton. That was really a platinum level effort from Middleton. I mean, crafty in how he carved out room for himself on the interior. Feeds to Hill. Off the pick and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Kawhi Leonard. For Brooklyn, they have gone four for five from the charity strike in this one up to now. That one misses. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. And Azania gets it to go. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Nets trail by three. Now here's Teague. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And he's just so calm and, and collected when he gets near the rim. Stolen away. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Pass to McCullough. The kick out to Hill. To the middle. Let's it go from 11. Tries again. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And the Lakers making a change here. Harkless has checked in. Up around 80% for his career. Lopez more than comfortable earning his points at the charity strike. Walker dishes to Harkless. There's the call on James Johnson. And that'll be his third foul so far. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Inside, Avanti. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Eight points for him. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money, that's no doubt. Outside Teague, down low. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And Hill is really kind of a nice, subtle mix of explosiveness and outstanding defense. A guy who plays both ends of the floor with equal efficiency and effectiveness. Jackson, he's checked in for Mario Hizoni. And Walker kicks to Jackson. There's Avanti. It's blocked. 
outside T. The Nets have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. Free throw good T. Well, Jeff Teague, one of the more calm players at the line, always looks to be in control. The Nets making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. For Los Angeles, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And so Jackson nails both of them. Brooklyn's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. To the paint. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Curry. Johnson's got his second bucket tonight. And the lead goes right back. What a seesaw affair we've got going on. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can quite grab hold of it. Like a slippery bar of soap there. Somebody's got to take charge here. <laughs> and he makes that one. Johnson's got four points this quarter. Boy, after having a tough time in the first, he's managed to turn. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Watch out. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. Yeah, I'm with you, Kevin, there. I mean, I can't fault the guy for adding a little flavor to things. I'm fine even if he'd have missed it. I don't mind them taking a chance to spruce it up a little bit. Nine seconds left in the first half. Inside and taken away by Johnson. By himself. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. They better not. I mean, they've got to pad their lead any time. And so that's the end of the... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Bernie Johnson here once again, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. They kept at it on both ends of the floor, and at the end of the period, they had a slight deficit of three points. In the second quarter, they were easily the better team. The points started coming for them in bunches, and they built a six-point lead by halftime. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually... That concludes our halftime presentation. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the second half. Welcome back as we get a beautiful aerial view of the Williamsburg Bridge connecting Manhattan and Brooklyn. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. It's been a clinic from Brook Lopez. Yeah, he's played just a smart game overall offensively, looking for and finding the gaps in the defense and also terrific shot selection. Greg, that's exactly what we're talking about when we talk about being efficient as an offensive player. Fully on display there with him. Tipping off the second half, here's Steve Clifford's five. Harkless is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Chris Middleton, and there's Kemba Walker, and it's Cauley Stein in at the center, filling out the middle. Lopez a screen. Here's Levert, defended by Middleton, and the basket by Hill. Commendable awareness by Hill, noticing the defense was sagging off of him as the pass was coming, and then just squaring up and knocking it down. Middleton, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one, drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Nets leading by four. And here is Hill. He has six. Lopez outside. He feeds it to Favors. Back to Lopez. And stolen by Coley Stein. And here they come. Here's Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. And one area where they have it struggled has been transition. Yeah, I think that may be their ticket out of the hole. Look for even more of those quick hitters. Stolen by Walker. Dishes it to Leonard. Back to Walker. 
and no good. Had a chance to take the lead. It's a close game here in Brooklyn. Right wing. Levert the pass to Favors. The Nets working the ball around now. Puts it up from 17. Goes back up. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got his third rebound on the night. And here's Leonard from three. Another miss by Leonard. Well, that's airtight defense. Not much room to get that shot off. Launches a three. And it's Levert missing. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Strong screen there from Lopez, who just removed the defender from the equation. Lakers trail by three. Walker dishes to Cauley Stein. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. Here's Favors. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Favors got five now. Good job threading that pass into the lane. I like his vision, guys. He sees everything. Here's Harkless. Traps in the tray. Boy, just an excellent assist. Nice work from Kemba Walker. Brooklyn's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Leonard. And with the moment, let's check out some stats for Chris Middleton. This last month, he has been a real positive for this team. He's putting up about 14 points a night, five assists, and four rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Cauley Stein's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Always better to be lucky than good when it comes to offensive rebound. And unless you're as good as he is, then those tip-ins are all about skill. Here's the screen. Hill kicks to Favors. Just four to shoot. And again, it's the Nets missing. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Offensive rebound. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. Basket's He's good. on his way to the line for one more. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Some changes for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Jackson in for Walker. Outside Curry. They need this. McGee with the block. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Leonard's got the ball. He was all alone on that one. Leonard's got nine points now in just the second half. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And we take a look here at the shot chart. And, and this is a grown man shot chart right here. Not too much going on outside, but look at how things are for them in the paint. They are attacking the rim and not settling for the jump shot and right now it's paying off in bunches if I'm them then I'd continue to do the same thing going forward until an adjustment is made and that's trail by four Curry passes to Teague there's 117 left to play in the third nailed from three-point land if you give Teague enough room out there beyond the arc, he, he won't hesitate to make you pay. Here's Jackson. That shot off. Crazy that time from Teague. And there's the pass to McCullough. To the inside. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Cauley Stein. Hazonia kicks to Cauley Stein. Brooklyn with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Curry can't get it to go. Lakers have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. It's picked off. 
And now Curry running the floor all by himself. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Leonard. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got six rebounds now in the game. Snatched up. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Eleven seconds left in the third quarter. And the shot is good from Johnson. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws, good from McGee. Now T. From deep three-point range, and it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. I can... And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. The Lakers in the lead. Curry is out there with Levert. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then it's Johnson, and it's Fields in at the small forward. So that... the lineup for Brooklyn and Los Angeles guys uh, shooting at 44 percent pretty reasonable nice ball movement here by the Lakers McGee a screen Walker dishes to McGee over in the corner Harkless there's a screen down to five on the shot clock here's Middleton and no good and Brooklyn will come the other way I'll be off to Oklahoma City for a meeting with the Thunder after this one. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Curry kicks to Johnson. Let's it go from 14. Rebound the Lakers. Middleton right side. A second chance effort. You look at what Middleton has done so far. He has eight points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. And you can't undervalue the importance of that. Many times a game comes down to which team wins the free throw battle. Derek Favors checked in for the Nets. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. And the basket by Curry. Wow, the fans are really getting their money's worth tonight. What an entertaining ball game. Up to this point, Greg, it's been almost impossible to separate these teams. I think this one's going to be close all the way. McGee is screen on Curry. Here's Harkless. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his eighth assist in the game. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc this half. McGee against Lopez. And it's McGee with the jam. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Over to the left wing. Curry passes to Lopez. Unloads from 13. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got his fourth rebound in this one. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. Hill, he's checked in for Levert. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Willie Cauley Stein, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Hill against Walker. Cauley Stein. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. <laughs>
That free throw missing. Leonard, he's checked in for the Lakers. That's off as well, so he misses both. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. Timeout, timeout. Rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Guys, yeah, they're not backing off at all, are they? Timeout called the Nets. Yeah, just frustrated by their lack of production offensively, and I can't blame them. I mean, they're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. Yeah, and the slump that they're having shooting the ball can take its toll on you if you're not mentally strong. So I like this time out here to try to get those guys reset and refocus. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brooklyn's head coach said to the team. He is not pleased. And he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Good on that, Sean. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Curry. Walker dishes to Leonard. Down low, here's Cauley Stein, and Cauley Stein throws it down. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Walker's shot is off. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. The shot's good. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. Los Angeles leading by six. Inside. It's deflected. Fields with the steal. To the paint. Here's Favors. It counts. And the foul. It's going to go on Willie Cauley Stein. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. What a night so far for Favors. He has eight points and two steals as well. He's had great awareness out there exploiting those passing lanes and coming up with steals. And, and Clark, is, is, he's been a step ahead of everyone else out there today. Here's Hill. Here's Fields, and Harkless pulls it down. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Here is Fields. Favors with the screen. And stolen by Coley Stein. Now the Lakers on the break. And you've got to wonder just how big those points are going to be. A swing like that can decide a game. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does. The steal there, as gutsy a play defensively, as you're going to see. Hill kicks to Curry. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And they go to the intentional foul. Levert's checked in for Brooklyn. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Middleton the pass to Cauley Stein. Walker dishes to Leonard. Leonard draws the double, and now we've got the intentional foul. Gets the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. And that will add to a healthy lead after that trip to the free throw line. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're losing by seven. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lopez outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Leonard with the ball. To the paint. The dive for the ball. And Fields kicks to Favors. Here's the three. Trifecta! Oftentimes, if a game is close, Hill just rises to the occasion. An outstanding player who doesn't shy away from those big game moments. The 2K Sports Post Game Show.
Hey again, everybody, Ernie. You talk about... And that'll do it for this...